In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make my custom tungsten x-ray markers in Prusa Slicer. To start, you're going to want to right click and add a shape and add text. And then you're going to want to remove everything and add your capital R or L. Uh, and I've noticed that Prusa Slicer does not show the letters or what the letter will look like. So you'll have to add, and I'm going to add a bunch of periods after. Uh, so that I can see what the uh, text will look like. Then you just have to search around and find one that'll uh, fit what you want to make. And I think I'm going to go with this one. Next, I'm going to scale it up. And I'm going to use this marker as a reference. And this one is just about 20 by 20 millimeters uh, big. So I'm going to scale this one to roughly the same size. And then I'm going to... Uh, Turn off the symmetry or scale lock and make it four millimeters tall. Next, you're going to uh, right click on the uh, model and hit add negative text. And this is where you're going to be able to uh, make the custom or the initials. Now, unfortunately, this came in a little crooked, so I'm going to try and uh, line it up here. Oh, I think I'm completely backwards. Hold on. We do oop, that. Nope, still completely backwards. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going the wrong way here. We want to do that. And then uh, we'll flip it this way. There, that looks better. And then you'll want to put your the initials that you're going to use in here. I'm going to go with uh, this for a test. And for the initials, I'm going to want to pick kind of a blocky uh, so it prints a little bit better. And then I just want to center uh, this and scale it to the appropriate size. So something like that, uh, maybe a little smaller. That works. And then I want to make it very tall so that it'll cut through the uh, the marker here. Now, if we slice, that looks actually pretty good. And next, what you'll want to do is uh, click off of everything, go to Add Shape, Add a Box. This is going to be for the back plate to add the tape or whatever to make it a little bit more stable. And I'm going to size this. Uh, down to about, oh, in fact, I know, I want to size it to 0. 0.6 millimeters. And then we're going to bring it in here, line it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be, in fact, any shape you want. And we're just going to shrink it uh, until we get it to roughly ex where we want it, and it'll look nice. Something like that that covers everything. That'll actually work. And then the next step is I'm going to uh, copy this uh, R, and we're going to paste a duplicate here. And we're going to get rid of the, uh, the text in the middle. We're going to shrink this down to uh, 0.6 millimeters as well. We're going to line it up as best we can with the original. But it just has to be super close, and it won't matter. And then we're going to... Sh Take this and move this down um, four uh, millimeters. So I'm going to go to negative 3.7, which is four down from, I don't know, that didn't do exactly what I want. So I undid what I just did, and we're going to take this and we're going to move it down. Oh, it's not going to go down. I don't know why it's not sinking. In fact, I just remember how I did it. So we're going to... Uh, Merge these two together here, if it'll let me. There we go. Merge those two together, and that way I can move the R separately from uh, the box. We just want to get it roughly in the right position of the R up top here. Like I said it can be a little bit off. It won't affect the print too, too much, but it just has to be very, very close. Take a second and get this lined up as best as I can here. 
Okay, now that I have this lined up, if we were to slice this now, it's going to look like it's okay, but uh, what is going to happen is it's going to try and double print the R uh, on the base plate here, or it's going to try and print two twice, is what I'm trying to say. So to fix that, we're going to merge uh, these two together, same way, just by clicking merge here. And now when we slice it, unfortunately, it does that. So since I can't remember how I fixed this the first time around, I'm just going to export the R with the uh, negative space text as an STL here. And I did that just by right clicking on the R and going to export as STL obj because if you do it from here it'll export the whole plate as an stl obj then i'm going to go in and bring that back in i'm going to move this one off to the side and we're going to line this one up just like we did before here because now it's got the uh the text cut out and now that everything is lined up oops, we can select both of them merge them together and now when we slice we have the cutout and everything looks good and it's not uh messing up on the inside here now to do the color changes we're going to go to where it first starts doing this and we're going to add in a filament swap just by hitting the plus on the little z-axis here we're going to go up to the top where it fills in right there and do the same thing and now we have a marker, and that little green section should be tungsten. And now it's ready to print. To make things easier, I would... I'm going to go back a few steps here. Because now I'm going to make the left marker. So we're just going to copy all of this, and then paste it. And then what I'm going to do is go in, click this R here. I'm just going to change it to an L. We're going to do the same thing for this. Change it to an L. And then all we have to do is find the, uh, the text here and move it to where it needs to be. And then we can also uh, adjust the box here because I don't want to adjust all of it. Just the shape box. And we're just going to shrink in the sides here just a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing and export this uh, middle piece and then re-import it. But uh, if you need to do a bunch of these, it's best just to make a copy, paste, and then you can uh, pull these off of the uh, printer bed so that they're not counted. And then you can keep working and making more markers inside of here. In fact, I just noticed that these are a little bit on the thin side, so I'm going to go and fix them by making them taller. But... That is how I make my uh, tungsten x-ray markers. And just some final thoughts after I've uh, put together that video. Um, you can save, if I can uh, select it here. You can bring these in and change the, uh, the text here and re-export. It is a bit of an intensive process to um, go in and change this to, uh, let's just do XXY or ZZYU, which is not anywhere close to what I was going to type. But uh, yeah, you can change up the letters, re-export, re-import um, to make the custom markers that you need. And it's best just to keep the, uh, the master ones, like this one, off to the... No, not that. To keep them off to the side here so that you can keep bringing and making new markers. And this is the tungsten filament I've been talking about. It's Prusa's Pet G Tungsten 75%. Me and a few other techs have been using markers made out of this for quite a while, and it is honestly amazing. They are super small. Uh, they show up very well on imaging. It is a really cool little marker.